Hey, thank you for watching. This is a video about. All right, spooky. Anyway, thanks for checking out this video. There are some surprises in this video later on and uh, I have a lot of videos so feel free to check them out some are service calls some are just uh, tips and tricks this one would be a service call anyway I appreciate you watching have a great day supply line not oh, wow where's the gas I guess shut the gas off there is that PVC is that is that PVC for gas hmm it's new yeah it is check it out oh no that's electrical I'm sharing with the dryer Some, some residual uh, water on the hot side.
scared me. Oh, that's not good. Wow. That's not even me. I didn't even put soap on it.
Okay, so I replaced the gas line and shutoff valve because I saw bubbles coming out of the shutoff valve, which was uh, right here, and the pipe came with it. And uh, looks like it's about a million years old. So. Freebie. So what I got here in this water heater had no straps on it. Uh, the ducting is a double wall B vent, so that's good. We have two different supply lines. Hopefully they don't leak. I absolutely hate these. I recommend these. These are the stainless steel. They got a deeper uh, socket on it, you can see. This one's much deeper, you can get it seated better. Uh, they're more flexible, they don't bind. These tend to kink and bind, and these little uh, braids will get you. Stick in your fingers, and they pinch. So I hate those. Well, I'm just filling it up right now and I'm venting the air from the TMP. So. You always want to let the air out of the water heater when you're filling it up. Uh, this is a AO Smith Proline commercial grade. It was installed 11-16-2021. Uh, was a warranty return. So I changed the valve on it. I uh, couldn't find anything else wrong with it at all. So if they have any issues, they will come back out. So let's deal with the water that's about to show up. Now. Alright, so I'm purging it right now. It's installed, it's filled up. The TMP is dripping. So when that happens, sometimes you can tap on it with a wrench and get it to stop. It is a used TMP. So the water heater is used, everything is used, gasoline is used, shutoff valve is used. My little uh, my little clamp at that other job six dollars for that clamp I want that clamp back give me back my clamp okay she clicked over I check for gas leaks first but
tag has been removed. Warranty return. I paid uh, zero dollars for it. I charged 160. Did a hydrostatic pressure test on the tank and flushed it and fired it up and changed the valve because that's usually what the problem is. Uh, burner assembly has no rips in the screen, so we're good there. Uh, replace the flex line, replace the shutoff valve, and a little gas pipe there. And uh, charging 150 to install, so this will be 310. I'll try and get a little money for the gas line, maybe 15 bucks if I'm lucky. And uh, yeah, I really wish it had some straps, but um, I don't think I have anything with me to strap it. Let's see what I got with me. All right, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. That's it for the water heater. There were no gas leaks. I come back later on tonight and install a TMP line and let the owner know that he needs to get some straps for it. Really appreciate you watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you like videos like this or giving uh, this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And have a great day.